Hello and welcome to the 2024 stories. Again, this is the 2024 contest for all photos taken in 2023. You're about to watch one of our critique videos for the official selections from one of our five categories, tornado photo of the year, photo of the year, photographer of the year, lightning photo of the year, and the photojournalistic photo of the year. As a reminder, we have a bunch of judges that help out. Not everyone can make it. So whoever shows up for one of these critiques, um, I'm just grateful that, that they volunteer their time, that they take this seriously and that they're help, helping out. It's a tough job going over all these images and trying to provide constructive criticism and great feedback, as well as hopefully some teachable um, moments where we can all learn um, what to do better, uh, what we could um, work on and improve on for this upcoming storm season. And, um, but also, you know, celebrating some of the amazing, amazing work that you all did last year. So without further ado, let's jump into one of our critique sessions. All right, so we're gonna go and talk about the top 30 lightning photos of the year. And um, we're gonna start off with this very um, first photo that I feel like if you were to just look at this and not zoom in and just see this lightning bolt hitting the peak. I, I, I'm a little bit of a lightning snob for sure because living in Arizona, it's, it's, the, it's the thing that got me into storm chasing. It's the thing um, that I almost love to do the most is lightning. And so if I don't see filaments all over a bolt, it feels like it loses its impact. However, this shot, if you zoom in and see that the bolt is hitting the Christ Redeemer mm -hmm. um, is like ridiculous. I don't even know how many times this happens. I'm sure it's right up there. Maybe it gets hit by lightning all the time, but I can imagine going out there and just getting skunked over and over. So this is just <laughs> fantastic. <Yes>. It happened. <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow. I think if I were to be, if I were to do this image, I probably would say, hey, I got this shot, but I did Photoshop out towers and whatever this is going on here because I think I'd want it just solely focused on that. Um, mm -hmm. But this is just such an amazing catch because lightning is tough. You can't tell it where to go, and yeah. even though we want to. Even Magical moment for sure. <laughs> I uh, the only distraction I feel like I've just got some. We got some banding issues. Yeah. I saw that. Um, but, but wow, that's, uh, that's, that's a moment and you got it and it's, <laughs> it's there. So congrats to this maker. Your patience paid off for sure. And I'm hoping it's the Christ Redeemer and not some person standing there that got lit up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a small little rock. I don't know. If that's a person, put them in the <laughs> journalistic category, please. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, we'll move on to this next one. Um, this wow. is, I believe, that the world, the One World Trade Center getting having upward lightning coming out of it. Um, <sighs> wow. What a treat to have an image in the city. This is different from all yeah. of our lightning shots in the plains. So that yeah. alone puts this in a different, you know, it gives it a different impact and feeling. So that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Dennis, what do you think? Yeah, the, I like the framing in this one because the city splits. I think this one is uh, Manhattan and on the yeah. Bro Brooklyn, I think. Yeah, and um, you have this side by side. Yeah, and and the lightning bolt. Oh, man, I like that they took yeah. the chant the time to. Um, well, they framed the shot. They probably were either expecting a lightning bolt coming down, but they were maybe they were there purposely to get upward lightning coming out mm -hmm. of the World Trade Center, but they didn't just zoom in on that and center it, which I probably would have done. But they went with framing the two sections of the city, you know, on either side of the image to create a really nice composition. And then, man, the lightning um, cooperated by going across the whole freaking photo, which is just it could have not done that. It could have gone off to the left. So, I mean, what the heck? Yeah, they tried their luck and <laughs> nailed it, I think. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I don't know about, um, there is kind of like some banding here as well, like the purples and the blues right mm -hmm. here. And I don't know if, again, mm -hmm. if that's like an export thing where it's exported at a different kind of quality for a contest. So I um, think, I think it's, um, 
It's like a bit of rain bands too, but it's um, the compression yeah, makes maybe. it even more visible. Yeah. The bending. It's huh. a, it's. A, I think it's both a bit. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Move on to this mm -hmm. one real quick. Um, Jennifer, you have any thoughts on this one? Oh goodness. <laughs> um, I appreciate the framing and composition here. Just, you know, getting those foreground elements. I think we got lucky with that lightning strike going over this abandoned home or whatever it is we're looking at. Um, I like the tones. The colors are pretty. Um, yeah. The, yeah. I mean, how happens? often do you set up for something like this in a lightning bolt? doesn't cooperate, which is probably why yeah. I, I tend to avoid foreground elements like this, because I would rather catch the lightning and not have and not miss it if it landed right behind it, because that just drives me crazy. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, when you're... but that's a beautiful house, right? Like, it's yeah. just, it's worth it. Yeah. And, you know, um, in non cha non storm chasing image competitions, they would give you a lot of grief about the motion in that tree. Yes. yes. And uh, I appreciate it because I understand what it's like to photograph scenes underneath a supercell. And yeah. that means the wind is blowing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not That's much I can is. do about it. I That's mean, and it's it one third of a second. Um, and so that's not even that long a time. It's not like he was he or she was shooting at like five seconds where you get a lot more of that. Um, it was just really windy. So, yeah. Yeah. And I like the light on the on the house. Like, I feel like um, yeah. the editing is really, it stands out. It's great tones on it. Uh, mm -hmm. it just, it's really nice. And again, um, he or she uh, tried the luck to get a good shot, not just a lighting shot, but the uh, overall good frame shot with a good foreground and the lightning bolt again makes it. So just yep. around the tree, perfectly spot on on the left side. So yeah, I, I agree with you. I don't want to miss any bolts. So I yeah. <laughs> don't often frame up something like this, but if you try, try it and you get the shot, it's... Yeah. Well, and, 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 yeah, and, and like you said, the lightning awesome. going off to the left, too. Um, yeah. You have these trees on the right that the lightning could have gone behind them, which would yeah. have also sucked. But the fact that the bolt goes over here, it actually lends a little bit of balance because these trees over mm -hmm. here kind of almost create an imbalance by themselves in a way. So it's just just everything worked out. And it's nice when that happens because it doesn't always yeah. happen. And one of the best times of the day for lightning photography yes, because for it's sure. just around sunset. So, yeah. Um, here's an image that um, made the, the top 30. I, I really thought my favorite part about this photo was just how it lit up the water mm. blue right there, like that turquoise teal... Like if you go to the Bahamas or something and the ocean just looks like that, um, it's amazing because the rest of it is blue, but wherever it hit, it created that color. It's crazy. Stunning. Oh. Also, a little upward streamer coming out of the water there. You can barely see it. And that's, always, <laughs> that's always a win in my book. It's always a win. <laughs> Yeah, the, this is so different. I love the depth that you get. Um, this really creates a scene and a feeling. And I have such appreciation for what's going on in the foreground. We have, you know, we have this long exposure. So we get that traffic in the city, which mm -hmm. is very cool. Uh, I love the coolness juxtaposed to the warmth, um, the cool on the top and the warm on the bottom. Uh, I think yeah. there are interesting visual elements all throughout this frame. Uh, I really appreciate this image. One thing came in my mind. I wish I could see the origin of the lightning bolt of the clouds. I know. <laughs> I, 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 a vertical shot with the same theme with a vertical composition and the bolt came out uh, of, the, of the cloud. Yep. That would be almost perfect for me. Mm. So, because my eyes want to see what's up there, yeah, all all the time. So all the time. And I, and you know what yeah. though, if you did a vertical shot like that, the bolt would have landed off frame. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if 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 I use the camera, absolutely, it's right off the frame every time. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna go on to this one. Um, this one is uh, particularly frustrating for me because I was on the other side of the storm with a <laughs> um, film crew. I think this was by Roswell. I, I believe it's that storm that was went east of Roswell. We shot the sunset side of it, and I had a film crew with me. And if I had been by myself, I for sure would have raced around to get in front of it because there's no way I cannot do it. Um, and I saw lightning bolts flashing like on the other side of it, and I'm like, oh no. And but anyway, this is just. I, I don't you get these kind of supercell structure with big bolts occasionally they're not always like this and it's just it to me if i get a now because i'm such a lightning snob if i get a supercell photo like this without a bolt like that it doesn't have the same impact and so <laughs> and these are hard to get it's hard to get these monster bolts with all these filaments in front of like a beautifully structured storm it just doesn't seem like it's as common as people it's think. Not, so it's not. It's not, it's not <laughs> common. Uh, and <laughs> like to be the person who shoots for the lightning. Yes. It, it takes intention, and so I appreciate that intention. Um, yeah. If I was being super picky, I feel we might be a little oversaturated on that top left, and the blacks are a little yeah. crushed in the foreground. But I love the composition. The moment is amazing. Kudos to the photographer here. Yeah. I mean, and there are even, and it's a little soft, unfortunately. But there's even like impact points right out there. There's like even a little upward streamer coming mm -hmm. out of the ground next to it, which would have been even sharper if the focus had been just a little sharper. Mm -hmm. um, so even getting the landing points on that bolt is just, it was close. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a close bolt. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next one, Dennis. Um, yeah. I'm going to let you talk about this one because I know it probably um, upsets you that you weren't there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was my first thought. <laughs> because, you know, I love deserts and storms and all together in one frame. Wow. I think it's white sands, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the scene, I, lo I love the that um, the photographer um, thought about foreground and um, composition here because the texture of the dune leads into the frame to the bolt and you have the nice side light coming in and uh, blowing dust on the left. Overall, the composition is great. Some, yeah, not so great choices in the processing, I think. Maybe a bit noisy in the darker parts and a bit, yeah, maybe a bit too much contrast here and there. But overall, what a scene. Ugh. Yeah, it's phew. another magical Dune there. moment here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I, um, this is an upsetting image because, um, it's so good to me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if, like, uh, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes uh, the image is sharpened or whatever for export and maybe it did, and maybe, um, you know, you could crop it up a little bit left to center the bolt a little more, but then you lose some of this beautiful light on the right. Um, this is just, uh, I, I know that, I know the day this happened and it's like, I just am I'm impressed because there's another one I, I think in this um maybe not in this category, but um another one with um shot probably on the same day out there. And I remember thinking about um all these people all went to White Sands because there was really no there was no super sub potential really anywhere. The sheer was day it was a bad day and we just chased stuff in eastern New Mexico and I'm like and then I started seeing this stuff. I'm like, man, I should have looked over there. And I appreciate <laughs> Um, the storm photographers that aren't just about um, wherever the best shear is and the best storm, best supercell, that they take risks. And going out here on June 6th instead of chasing, you know, potential supercells elsewhere is kind of risky because you don't want to miss a tornado or something else somewhere else. So um, beautiful, yeah. like it, when, it, when it comes together, when you take a risk like that, I'm, I'm, I'm just really um, impressed with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. I'll move on to this one. Um, I just like, um, first off, the bolt's awesome. Uh, like I said, I love freaking filaments. And they just, they, it adds so much more power to a, uh, to a bolt. Um, but I just like that it kind of lands in the in the middle of these windmills and turbines and, and that someone took the time to kind of frame it and pray that it happened. I mean, and then got a sick bolt, you know, to happen. So 
It's fantastic when that works out. Yeah, composition, the motion of the windmills um, definitely gives you a feeling of being in that moment. Um, it's electric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice dad joke there, Jen. Thanks. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, <laughs> it is very nice. Uh, I like the tones. I like that, you know, um, it's not yeah. too processed. We don't have too much of anything. Uh, I, I think it's mm -hmm. just a very nice image. Um, I'll go on to this one. This one, um, uh, it was, it's sometimes a struggle between, I feel like there's like the editing and stuff on this one was really tough. Um, it, or is really tough. And I think the problem was, is because the bolt obviously looks like it was ridiculously close and bright. Um, ISO, was that ISO 200, which probably was just too high um, for this. And so the photographer tried to fix it by bringing the highlights down, which leaves kind of this, this hole in the, in the brights. Um, but I felt like just kind of capturing, I mean, there is a monster nasty tornado back there and this lightning bolt hitting like right there. Um, I just felt like this is a tough shot to get. And so it deserved to be in the top 30, but definitely some editing issues, you know, that is kind of hits you right in the face, especially maybe some of the color and um, the greens and stuff. But I mean, what a freaking lightning strike next to a tornado. It's just incredible. The extremely powerful uh, lightning bolt. So I checked it on the Parchers F8. Yep. And it's yeah. still it's still too bright, so it, we, yeah. it's yeah, it's an, an, an amazing scene. And as you said, yeah, some processing issues here and there, but the shot and the moment is um, pretty awesome. I think so. I think a no, slight no. improvement could have been made just in cropping. Even if you just cropped down to eliminate that hot spot of origin, and cropped in from the left to kind of eliminate that very overly dark top left corner, um, you still would have had a pretty incredible tornado and lightning shot without that very hot, 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 hot spot. Yeah. Um, and like the purple and the green, it's very rock and roll. This image feels <laughs> like it should be like a band cover yeah. shot or like on some t-shirt. So I see the appeal here. Um, yeah. It's not quite in the realism yeah. sense, but um, I feel the power and the impact for sure. It's interesting you say that because I kind of looked to my upper left in Lightroom and to look at the thumbnail. And then I'm like, man, I could see the Metallica going yeah. across the middle of this yeah. and working out perfectly. So yeah. Metallica <laughs> sees this and would like to license this photo. Um, let us know and it. we'll send you the right way because it could work. Um, <laughs> this is just a, a beautiful, I mean, I'm a sucker for um, high up lightning shots and, um, and seeing nice impact points. Is the dream. So yep. um, I like it. Yeah, that's the lightning version as a uh, of a peaceful summer evening lightning <laughs> storm. Nothing serious, just a storm moving, uh, yeah. passing by, and you just snap some bolts. So can you imagine standing up on the tail on that hill yeah. and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that input that impact point is the winning mm. section in this image for me for sure. Beautiful. Yep. All right, we'll go on to this one. Um, I uh, I always have an appreciation for big clear air bolts like this that come out of the top. I bounce or bounce back and forth between saying clear air or positive, and I've said, hey, it's a positive bolt, and some lightning guy tells me it's not. It doesn't mean just because it comes out the top. So I not know for sure. I usually call these positives, but these big, tall, clear air bolts are, um, they're a lot more rare, and so they're, you know, harder to capture, and you kind of have to pray that they happen. Sometimes in places like Florida, I've seen off the coast, they happen all the time, it feels like, from the pictures I see. Um, but I know here in Arizona, if I catch one, it's probably like the only one or two I'll get all summer. And mm. because there's just not very many, or you have to position yourself further away in an attempt to get that. But um, mm. I like, I like um, the balance of this image and the fact that the, you got the juxtaposition and of the city in the foreground and how monstrous that storm is um, behind it all. Yeah. Maybe I would have um, deleted the bright scene from the buildings here on the left 
bottom left because yeah. it it's a bit uh, my eyes are restricted to this yeah. area not to the bolt directly because it's brighter than the bolt itself but um overall i appreciate that the stars are over the lightning bolt and the whole cloud is illuminated and yep all, all of, it's a beautiful scene what you said w one or two bolts a year you get of this kind where they come out the top all right and maybe, maybe i'm maybe i'm being a little bit um hard on myself with that but it's not you know you know when you're chasing these kind of storms and some of the other lightning shots you'll see you people like to be close and i like to be close so to get something like this means you risk missing other ones and mm -hmm. miss, missing a closer shot where you might get like a really yeah. good landing point or something so. in germany you are lucky if you get this one once per 10 years <laughs> that it's, was my thought <laughs> yeah yeah i and see where you're for, going <laughs> just for anyone who is curious this is a negative bolt um positive bolts, it, Jen. i'm so sorry positive bolts are smooth clear laminar bolts that do not have branching filaments so ew i don't like so, those then yeah yeah i'm not so, very positive about those all right her, there's the dad joke all right i'm not alone <laughs> Well, it's a clear air bolt. Can I yes. at least say that? Yeah, All absolutely. Right. That is, it is a clear air bolt for sure. I'm so glad Jen is on here to correct. Not trying um, to correct. No, no, no. Sure. I appreciate it. That that makes sense, though. That makes sense. Just and for I, anyone watching, I don't want anyone confused. We we had um, in my education with with like a local meteorologist or something like years ago. There was like a whole graphic about positive bolts are ten times as powerful and they they usually emanate out the top of thunderstorm so when i when i see this emanate at the top that's what i think of but sure. it makes sense what you said so um we'll move on to this one which is um i believe this was tucson um arizona so anyway just a beautiful like kind of monsoon scene with um and i like that it's black and white we don't get we didn't get hardly any black and white submissions and and this was a 30 second exposure. So single exposure, all this happened in one shot, which is pretty awesome. I love this image. I love the balance of tone. I like the management of those lightning highlights and the city lights. Um, I think this is one of the more successful lightning images we've seen so far. Beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. the, the sharpness is great too. Yeah. Yeah, the lights look really good. The little stars around the lights. I shot at mm -hmm. F10. Um, Really, really nice and Beautiful. shot at 135. So it's kind of nice to be zoomed in um, to compress the city against um, mm. those mountains back there. I think that kind of helps too. Um, not, it's a it's a tough um, thing sometimes shooting really zoomed in because you end up if it's windy, you get more camera shake um, mm. with a big zoom lens, and it's it's a little tougher. So beautiful, great job on the sharpness. Um, all right. This one is just, I think um, Dennis would just love, since you talked about desert scenes and lightning like this, I forget where this is, Canyon Lands or something. Uh, Dead Horse Point State Park, I think. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, That's or maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't uh, know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Southern Utah, though. I think yeah. that. So, um, but beautiful, like impact points on the side of, um, looks like this little cliff here. Um, with the water lit up and the rain falling down, like what a classic kind of monsoon shot. Yeah, I like how the um, wet rocks are reflecting the lightning, the light from the lightning bolt. So maybe a bit too much rain for my taste, but yeah, the, you that's nature in this case. So yeah, can't do anything yeah. about that, Dennis. The hard part about a lot of rain um, with lightning is it tends to blow out the bolts more than if they're just clear air. And, yeah. and so that's what you can struggle with. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we'll go on to this next one. Um, Jen, do you have any thoughts on this one? Oh, let me pull it up. I'm just a little behind <laughs> here. No, it's okay. Oh, it's this okay. is interesting. Grand I would Canyon. love, I would love to hear, do you have settings on this? Um, 13 seconds F 16. Okay. Wow. The motion in these clouds is so, that's the thing that catches my eye first. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's troublesome if the, it depends on what you're trying to communicate with your image here. Um, I also feel a little bit tilted 
here. Yeah. So I probably would have maybe given this a little straightening and a little crop and um, focus more on the bolt and the canyons below uh, so we don't have our eyes pulled to that motion in the clouds at the top of the frame. But I love the colors. Uh, and in the mid section of like the middle of the image, I really do appreciate those tones as well. I agree. I, I think it's um, um, it's hard to determine the, I, I think I would fix the horizon and level it for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Whether mm -hmm. it was that way or not, I feel like sometimes at the Grand Canyon, I've noticed that sometimes it slopes down a little bit on the North Rim, which is, this is, I believe, looking to the North Rim. And so that can be like, mm -hmm. um, do I straighten it even though it really was level or you know, and, and sometimes I have told people, I just straighten it so it doesn't distract me, even if it was really crooked in real life, because I don't want it distracting to me or other people looking at it. So, yeah. um, but I think it's very tastefully edited. And I do think it's more of a style choice um, because if you're at F16 doing 13 seconds and you, and it's light enough that you see the clouds moving, you have to decide if that's what you want, or if you want to drop down to like F16 or F8 maybe, and do like five seconds to get a little bit less of that mm -hmm. motion there. I don't always hate it. Sometimes it's distracting. Sometimes it's just part of it, but it just depends. Lightning photography is just different. You know, you have to sometimes do a longer exposure and maybe the clouds were low and moving fast and that's tough. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you're talking about where the eye goes first, what is the most noticeable yeah. thing about the image um, in this type of a context in a competition, yep. um, in a lightning category, we want that lightning to be the star of the show. Yep. Agreed. All right. Um, we'll go on to this one. Dennis, are you jealous of this one? A bit close. <laughs> wow. <Just a> <laughs> it says it says it was shot at 18 millimeter. Wow. Wow. Eight f9 15 yeah. seconds yeah 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 if you zoom in it's even more it's amazing Im impressive because <laughs> the brightness of the lightning bolt is very well balanced you can see illuminated raindrops mm -hmm. yeah. and it's very sharp uh, what the Ooh, you can see, even see a car moving down the yeah. street <laughs> yeah yeah right here on the left there's a car that got yeah. a nice surprise when that bolt hit real close yeah <laughs> and the the colors are very well balanced i think yeah, yeah. yeah maybe maybe one thing the the hill on the right side is a bit too um um how would you say it um impacting like it's too much yes of a, too much of it. Yeah. It, just a little bit maybe I, I i love the idea that you see where you're standing yeah. a bit because it's a bit brighter than the city underneath so and it gives a bit more balance to the overall image i think but it's a bit too much just about just a tiny tiny bit so overall what a scene at the sh the, the, the lightning strike is just incredible. I, I want to know where this was taken. This is mm. beautiful. It's in, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's oh. France, and I would love to pronounce it. It says, Yeah, yeah. It's Auver Auvergne. Yeah, Auvergne. Thank you. <laughs> it's, um, every, and we, we get, get every year from France such Dude, good bolts. I'm I pretty think. sure the first ever lightning photo of the year award went. To sham a guy that shot it in champagne. Yeah, right. yeah, I remember so, him. Yeah, France always wins, which is you know what I I really appreciate that um, that that they that France and in, in, in some of these European countries can get this stuff because I feel like the the supercells and tornadoes just don't happen there, and I love that somewhere else can do something that people don't just feel like, well, if I'm going to enter this contest or try to win it, I got to go travel to the States because otherwise there's no point mm -hmm. because they, they just get the best stuff. But this kind of thing, it blows my mind and beautiful um, landscape. And even, you know, these um, these houses and, and buildings that we don't see over here very much because they yes. look, you know, it's European and it's like um, clay tiles or whatever. And it's really, really pretty. Yeah, love that. Love the colors. And, yeah, and um, in my opinion, the strongest supercell, the biggest tornado, and so doesn't mean it's yep. 
photogenic one. Agreed. So oftentimes the weaker storms are so are very photogenic or weaker tornadoes or so. We have seen already pictures of tornadoes which aren't very bad or so and it was very good shots. So but yep. yeah, you don't need the, yep, you're right. The baddest storm. So yeah. Agreed. All right, so I think this is probably in the same place, but it's a different photographer. I don't know if it's the same place, but it's the same general area. It's got to be. I don't it's, know. It, it, it's the same area, yeah. Um, so one, the only thing different uh, between these, and who knows um, if it was a different time, but like the, the, the color maybe in this one feels a little more realistic, where this one feels just a little bit on the bluish side and maybe could have... Um, warmed it up or, or slid the, the white balance over to a little bit more purple to kind of make it feel a little less blue. But um, this is only eight second exposure to get both these bolts landing at the same time and to get, I mean, and this was, oh, this was 50 millimeters. So they were standing back a little bit, but it's not that far away. <laughs> no. Oh, but again, it's uh, the lightning bolts are not over. It's, are, they are not too bright. And the time of the day is good for shots. So, yeah, yeah. But as you said, the the colors are a bit more, a, a bit too greenish blue. Yeah, yeah. These shots upset me. So, all right, we'll go yeah. to the <laughs> next one. Um, I just, uh, I think this is a north rim of the Grand Canyon, and I'm not sure if um, maybe the export and stuff, it made it, it feels like a little, like maybe it was kind of sharpened for X or for like the web, and maybe that's why it might feel a little bit, um, I don't know if it feels a little over sharpened, but um, I just appreciate the, the, the effort to go to, you know, I know personally from, you know, living here that going to the north rim is usually a long road trip to get there, mm -hmm. and it and and it's harder to shoot there so um the colors and the balance of this to be able to and, and it looks like the storm is right there it's a shot 28 millimeters so they're probably huddled underneath something to try to get this so um and almost getting i don't know if it's a landing point or if it's just went behind it looks like it probably landed right there but it's kind of hard to tell if it didn't go behind this little cliff but um it's just beautiful landscape shot with the storm which makes me happy yeah i love it it feels a little Again, I'm a little tilted to the right. Um, that mm. very rear yeah. um, horizon element is just a little sloped. And then that foreground element on the right is dark and heavy. And I feel yeah. like it pulls the image to the right. So maybe just a couple tweaks in those areas would balance yeah. the image a little bit more for me, but lovely, yep. lovely effort here. And I would like to, I would even say you could even crop it you know, up a little bit to the left, but then I do don't, I wouldn't want to lose a little bit of this green because I feel like it does frame it a little bit. So mm -hmm. I think you're right that maybe if this was brought out a little bit, it would kind of help balance that. So. All right, Dennis, what about this one? Oh, Spain, I think it is. This one's Spain? I think it's Spain, yeah. Oh, wow. There's, there's, an, there's an area north of Madrid, Spain, it looks a bit similar to Utah. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the lighting in this one because the sunlight is coming in from the side and it's a bit, um, now I'm missing a word again, diffuse. Diffused? Diffused from the, from the rain. And it's... A bit yeah. um i need more practice <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe you need some caffeine too yeah six <laughs> months without without uh talking english so yo yeah. that's right that's right that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate your effort uh, I, i'm trying my best you're doing yeah <laughs> a, a lovely scene but um some some uh, processing stuff is a bit off for in my for my taste, um, I would have cropped the the hill on the right side out of the shot because it's distract my eyes a bit on this side, and the focus is a bit off. Unfortunately, yeah, a little off, yeah. Yeah, but overall, the scene 
is great. And you can see the impact point of the, of yeah. the strike. Yeah. Yeah. Would and it, 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 I like that you can see it, but it's but even though it's not behind this feature, it still feels like it's behind it to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, yeah. But I appreciate it. them like taking the time. They probably were hoping they're gonna get a bolt to just strike the top of that thing, which would have maybe one photo of the year if it yeah, happened. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I love the colors. I think the way the bolt interacts with that you know geological feature there is it's like a dance almost mm -hmm. um, so I, I really appreciate those uh, sort of artistic elements um, despite some of our technical challenges in the in the file yep okay we'll go to this one uh jennifer what do you think of this one mm, yummy <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i mean this is a classic this is just a beautiful classic cityscape lightning shot um you know, it's actually like, Phoenix. Oh, love very it. Nice, it's one of my favorite cities. <laughs> uh, I love how it's razor sharp. Um, kudos on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, just very, very nice, very classic, beautiful shot. I love how the lightning bolt is filling up the whole image. Hmm. Just ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. Very and cool. You were talking earlier about, you know, um, that one photo, like too much rain. Um, Dennis, like yeah, here, yeah. you can see the rain is falling back here. Mm -hmm. but the bolt is obviously a clear air bolt and not a positive bolt, probably coming out the top and landing way out here in front, which just those are so much, they're just so powerful sometimes and have so many filaments. And and I just love how it dwarfs the city. And the only thing that I have that I would nitpick now that I'm looking at it is maybe it needs to be like the buildings feel like they are angled a little bit leaning to the right. So maybe it needs to be leveled a little bit, but it, it's hard to tell. It's 35 yeah. millimeters. So it's not like it's like they're kind of angled towards the middle. So I think just a little bit of that crop, but man, I just, these bolts are just, they like move me when I see something like this. Yeah. And it must've hit something there that really set off like a little bit more of a glow, like uh, might've hit one of those power, boxes oh. utility boxes because i think i see like a greenish glow there which is also kind of cool oh yeah that's a cool detail um i just like this image because there's a freaking donkey watching the lightning bolt <laughs> yeah in the desert and um it, it would upset me if i was shooting this because the lightning is really good but it lands behind the mountain and so that's uh just automatically frustrating for me but Love the, you know, it's just a desert shot with Saguaro and a freaking wild donkey out there. And I just, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of nature in a photo um, at mm -hmm. one of these. So it's really cool. I agree. I feel that's almost a little humor in this yeah. image. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, it's like a little different. Uh, all these storm images are drama and fire and it's <laughs> yeah. awesome. But this is just like, yeah, this, this exists and nature reacts to it and it's yeah. almost a little it's almost comical which i yeah. really appreciate it's a, it's an element that makes it different from the other photos so yeah i enjoy that me too me too i love the donkey <laughs> in here it's it's great uh, and the cac uh, is it correct cacti uh, cacti cacti okay yeah. um these are huge yeah they're so are i mean those are big they're not the the other ones on the left side. Oh, I, this. Yeah, that's I a own, barrel cactus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know them from this valley, but they are much much smaller there. Oh yeah, that one is pretty big because it looks like it's the donkey's almost as if it was. A yeah, longer. yeah, yeah. Wow. Um. All right, so we'll move on to this yeah. one. Uh, this is one of my like favorite ones, just mm. with the composition. I don't even know if um. I have no idea what the behind the camera looks like. Did they have to hike to this cave and shoot out it? Do they just get out of their car and point through this rock formation? I don't have any idea, but um, it, it makes the fact that the lightning bolt is kind of landing away and behind that peak, it makes it tolerable because I've got this beautiful kind of landscapey scene. So just really, really cool. Absolutely. And um, I think there was a, is it, if it, maybe it's a focus stack. Oh, it might be. Just a, it might be because the rock is so close. Yep. It is that F13, um, but still. Um, still very, F very close. But I, I like the idea behind this shot because it gives you a, a much different um, look 
from the other shots because it's like you are sitting in this cave like area and uh, waiting the storm to pass that you yeah. can sit, uh, travel safely onward so and th the scene makes me this is one which makes me this uh, some emotions yeah. with me so yeah i didn't know that you could take lightning photos at mount doom <laughs> so that's really cool. I love this framing. I love when image makers step outside of the norm and try something different. I think about a different perspective. This there's so much power in the framing in this image. Um, I really love this. I really love it. It's yeah. beautiful. No, it's it's a it's one of the best like compositions that I've seen in our contest with, especially when it comes to lightning photography. Because it's yeah. definitely not something um, I think about um, doing something like this. And granted, I don't have any rock formations like this that I know of nearby that I could go do this and get a storm lined up. But right. um, I just appreciate that. So um, what follows are two different um, photos, I think, of the same upward lightning bolt at the same place. So hmm. um, I know that uh, this is like if, you know, I always feel like context um, matters a lot with some pictures and sometimes you know the context and sometimes you don't because hey it, this last one was shot in another country and I just don't know um, much about it but I know ship rock and where it is and going there specifically to try to get lightning hitting it is um, one of those choices you make that's that I have a hard time doing I have more of like I want to chase and I don't necessarily care what is around as long as I'm where I want to be on a good storm and try to get a good photo of it but the people that take the time to go, I want to go to ship rock and get lightning that hit it. Um, and that's what I'm going to do today. I, I really respect that. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible. It's, it's um, a bit like the New York shot we had earlier, just in, with nature. Yeah. The framing is a bit different, of course, but it's reminded. Uh, to remember it uh, um, for me it's like a bit similar from the framing but yeah it's obviously uh different but it's also like a skyline in nature the ship rock yeah and then the upward lightning crazy shot and if you know the area you don't just drive there and you get it you must yeah. you must go there to shoot it and it's yep. not per accident so no 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 um all right jen what do you think about this version of it which i i just think it's from the other side of the same one but i don't know i love this for the depth um there's such a different feeling here the other one was very much i love how dennis referred to it as the skyline yep. um but this feels so much more immersive yeah. um mm -hmm. it also gives me feelings of uh Oh gosh. Now, of course, I've lost the movie. <laughs> that movie. Not like, Dune this time. No, else. not Dune this time. I'll come back around to it. But I love the spires uh, yep. in there. I love it feels sharp and pointed. And um, yeah, it, it gives all kinds of different feelings. I love that you can get such a different feeling from a similar, similar location from just a different position. So yeah. um, very, very interesting shot. Yeah, I love the framing here and how the photographer uh, choose to do the angle between ship rock and yeah. the sky. Just a bit lower to the ground and shoot more to, towards the sky and um, yep. have the big mountain there in, in the center. And if you zoom in, it's crazy how lit up the side of the rock there is. Yeah. Uh, it's... Yeah. Yep. It's it, it, this lightning bolt reminds me of Back to the Future. Yeah, oh, one, which hits the clock, the clock <laughs> a bit. Yeah, I know that there were some technical ish issues with this. Um, with um, um, I think a photographer let me know they had to like um, fix a couple blown out spots on it that. So uh, if the settings are correct on here, it was shot at F 3.2 and 250 wow. ISO, which is, mm -hmm. I would probably recommend, you know, being more like an F 5.6 to F 8 at least 
And so yeah. I don't know um, what the reasoning was behind that. If if maybe there was something else going on where maybe there was no lightning bolt striking, but they were trying to get uh, maybe some spider lightning going around and then suddenly an upward came out of nowhere. And because sometimes you open up wide if you're like, hey, nothing's striking, but I want to light up um, ship rock with some spider lightning or flashing or something. So maybe they were going for that and then this happened and they're like, oh crap. Um, so there's some problems with with some of that, but otherwise, just uh, the way the landscape gets lit up from that yeah. is just, looks like yeah. daytime in some parts of it. It's just yeah. and it adds so much depth to that. So it was really, giving close encounters, is what I was close encounters. To think of. You know yeah. what? Yeah. I was going yeah. to say that right away, and I didn't, and I don't know why, but it, I didn't even. I I don't know how old you are, but I didn't know if that was past your time. <laughs> 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 or, or not past your time, before your time. I'm 42, I, so it's, a, it's 42. borderline. It's okay. borderline. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Dennis and I are a little older, I think. So uh, I'm just two years. Two years? Oh, for yeah, oh, 40, 44. Well, I'm uh, my next birthday, I turned 50, you guys, which oh, wow. So, no, that's uh, great. Best times, best times. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Sure it is. All right. So <laughs> Um, this is really cool. I'd like, um, I mean, well, let's go back to where I was. Okay. Um, just, I mean, it's, it's awesome seeing like the wave chop, the choppy waves get lit up from the lightning, but, um, there's like a great upward streamer coming out, um, of the, of the ocean right here, which is crazy. And I don't know what this little snaky thing is next to it. I don't know if it's this, if it, it looks like it's the same shape as this. So it might be, um, Dennis, you remember a few years ago we had the, that one photo. I don't know if you were doing, if you were on with us then. It might have been the first year, but there was an image where there was almost like a ghostly reverse lightning bolt. Yeah, on, I, and, I and remember this one. Yeah. Yeah, so it might be like a refraction of um, a lens thing, and I don't know if that's like an actual lightning bolt there, or if it's, or or what, or maybe it was um, moving. Maybe it was like a brief flash, and then I don't know. But anyway. Just really, really close to 31 millimeters. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I love the water textures that you were mentioning there. Um, the tricky thing is of the, the background is so there's so much motion blur there from I'm sure, you know, the camera shake. Um, yeah. But, but you know, it is a lesser element of the image, yeah, but in terms of competition, that that does make it a little tricky, but wow, what a bolt to capture. So. Yeah. And that's a good point. I didn't really um, notice the, a little bit of camera shake out there on that, but um, it's yeah. crazy because the water, because it gets lit up so fast that it's actually pretty sharp compared to yeah. that. Yeah. So. But must have been very windy there. Yeah. I think yeah, it's, whew. And it's only four second exposure. So I'm assuming it was on a tripod and still kind of moving around a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll go to this one. Um, this is just a, a classic, um, like we've kind of seen before, but it's really interesting because like this one, you still see like that, if you're looking where it is, it's got that bluish on the left and right of the bolt. And then that one that we saw that was turquoise blue was like that in this one. Mm. I'm sure it probably has something to do with the angle that we're looking at the bolt and how it probably creates this reflection so we don't see it, but out here, I don't know. It's just kind of they've all had that look to them, which is kind of interesting. And there's probably science behind it. And maybe Lightning Jen um, can tell us more if she because of the positive. <laughs> negative. But um, but I do like this one because hey, there's a couple upward streamers coming out of the water. Which is, there's one on this side and there's one there. Oh my gosh! All I right, think I'm it's gonna... the same spot. Is like it the shot be... the, like the shot before? Yeah, you're right. Shift you're it right. a bit to the right. Yes. Yes, you're right. Yeah, same evening. Killer lightning shots and boom. two shots with upward streamers. Man, upward streamers. Yeah, that's my, that's my, on the same my. evening. Okay, we'll move on to this one, which we've talked about this one in um, in the tornado photo of the year. But again, um, getting a uh, lightning shot with a tornado is super rare and and hard to harder to do. Um, a little bit of um, some softness, I think, issues with um, the focus, but. Um, Really, really cool. Um, all right, since we talked about that one, the tornado one, if you haven't seen it, you can watch that uh, video as well. Watch that one. We're gonna go on to this next one, um, which um, if, if I'm looking at it right off, it's hard to tell if um, it needs to be like leveled just a smidge. 
maybe um, drop to the right. Um, I will tell you that I know who took this and I was standing next to him and my lightning trigger did not catch this. And um, I've never been so upset in that moment that um, <laughs> he showed me the back of his camera and I didn't get that bolt because it landed. I mean, he, this is, well, I don't know what it was, but it landed very close to us, probably like a half mile away. And um, I was pretty sad about it. So a lot of these images make me sad, but, um, but it was, it was, uh, and, and that was a, uh, that was a tough, hazy day. So, um, but just a fantastic one of these, you know, supercells in the background, getting a giant lightning bolt out in front. And the, and these to me just add so much to, you know, um, the average supercell image. Mm -hmm. Degrees. Yeah. All right. Going to this one. Um, what do you guys think of, um, this one? I, I feel like the composition is pretty, pretty great for yeah. a lightning photo. Absolutely. The photographer wanted the shot like it turned out i think because he's yeah the city or the village or however um is the lighting on the, this is very on on point i think yeah um maybe maybe it's a bit too blue around the lightning bolt or so yeah um for my taste just a touch too much but and um the tree on the bottom left is distracting a bit <laughs> but overall th the photographer went up to the cliff um, set it up his camera and wanted the shot like this so he tried his luck and nailed it again so but yeah for me it's a very good capture yeah, I love the balance, um, the shape of the bolt, which we don't have control over, happens mm. to pair well with the shape of that road. Uh, and I love how they're yeah. juxtaposed in the frame. Um, there is a dis slightly distracting pinpoint in the distance. I probably would have eliminated that. Yeah, that um, yeah. But I love the balance of this photo. It gives a very clear feeling of um, scene and depth. And I love, I love that. I, it's, I think the the comment, Dennis, about it being a little blue is probably accurate. I think what people tend to do um, maybe is to globally bring down the warmth so that these city lights aren't super warm. Because I feel like this is really nicely balanced. I like the mm -hmm. color. I like the way it looks. It feels like that's a realistic color. and But mm -hmm. you can kind of see this road is a little maybe bluish too. So I think um, one um, technique is to you know, do some layering in Photoshop and fix the white balance in the city, but keep the rest of it a little bit warmer because that would be, a, it, with those kind of lights, it's kind of hard to get it correct in one image. And if you're going to fix it, don't necessarily do it globally, but do it um, in different sections. Use uh, use layering and, and fix, the, fix the city itself and then let the rest of it maybe be a little warmer so it doesn't feel so blue. Okay. Uh, um, this is next, another one. Next yeah. one, please. Yes, 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 we're not going to talk about that one. Oh, this one sucks too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ouch. Uh, this is very painful to look at. And um, yeah. So I'll let Jen talk about it because I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't have as many deep feelings about that. <laughs> so I am happy to speak to it. I love this image. I love the textural elements in the clouds and the rain foot off to the side, the way the mm -hmm. bolt balances with those three little trees. Yeah. Um, this is just a really beautiful, well-balanced shot. Uh, I, I'm not, you know, I'm no Lori Grace. I'm not a lightning expert, um, <laughs> but... I think this is really, really gorgeous. I love the colors and no, the tones. It's, it's fantastic. And it's just, um, it's, as we said, catching supercells with bolts kind of coming out the front like this is not um, common. And usually these storms are so, you know, the bases are so low to the ground because that's why, you know, we end up with tornadoes because the, the bases are so low. The bolts that come out tend to be stubby little bolts half the time that aren't super photogenic. Mm. So the composition of this awesome, you know, uh, harvested cornfield and the trees right there in the middle, the, the trees add so much for being yeah. like tiny and out there, but it just, it gives it such an interesting feel. So uh, it's just beautiful. And it's, these are like my dream shots 
And wow. even in, and I think I get super frustrated with this storm because I saw like time lapse or other photos. I'm like, if I was staying there, I would have been probably crying or something. So when you miss certain storms that you're like, those are the ones that, you know, um, that speak to you emotionally, like Dennis said, um, it's that's great. why we chase. It's why we chase. Why we chase. So why didn't I chase this day? <laughs> can't chase them all, I guess. I have kids. Uh, that's probably why. So, I uh, was too far, too far away. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five thousand miles. Five thousand miles. Oh, all right. Um, this oh, one, man. I, I think that from what I've heard, this is Capulin, which I think is that the. I forget where this is, but I thought it was two buttes in like southeast Colorado. But I could be wrong. But um, mm, that anyway. feels really familiar. Um, just awesome. Nothing I like more than lightning bolts striking a hill where I can see it. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe um, it's a little purpley, but you know, sometimes you just, that's the way your camera captures it at night and interprets the color. So um, just awesome. It seems like this one was cropped. The size of the file so small. I wish I could, I want to zoom right in and look at all that detail. Um, yeah, on the, it probably on the was cropped. I wish it was a larger file because it's so cool. I want to get in there and see this, the rain and it's like steamy. Yep. And these textures <laughs> are so cool. Um, but yeah, great yep. shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that little texture of the rain around this like bolt right there. Um, I probably would have gotten rid of this, whatever this reflective thing is in the um, the foreground there. But Right. Yeah. Those little pinpoints. Okay, Dennis, this is the last one. What do you... Um, Rainbows. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. rain sliver. Yeah. Um, I like the framing very much because the foreground is just enough mm -hmm. before the mountains. Yeah. And um, maybe it could have some... a bit more contrast to the sky just a bit because it's maybe it's because of the rain and the light thing it feels a little time. washed a little bright or a little washed out yeah a bit no, but um overall the framing is beautiful and i yeah great bolt right in the middle of the frame and it's a nice landing a, point the landing point there yes and as a bonus, just a, just a bit of a rainbow too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like this one. Yeah, I think um, my distraction brain. I probably would have um, got rid of the power, the black power poles or whatever those are. Um, just because sometimes something like in the way um, uh, gets me a little bit. But I think. I think overall everything you said is accurate. I think it, I think I might have brought down um, either the sky a little bit just because it does feel like a little bright, but at the same time we know that we see a rainbow because the sun is shining on it. So um, it's it's a little bit still bright. Um, the, the the sun is still up at that time of day. So um, to actually catch a bolt with all those filaments at that time of day is pretty you know it's not always easy. So that's fantastic. Love it. All right, those are our top 30 lightning photos, and um, stay tuned for the top 10.